Hey everyone, how are you? It's Tomás here and welcome to another episode of React Native. Uh, today we are going to recreate uh, yet another classic game, back a mall um, I'm pretty sure you are familiar with the game, so I'm not gonna explain. Uh, when we are finish, finished with it, it will look something like this. Well, exactly like this. Uh, you know, walls are popping, we are backing them. Occasionally they, uh, they are attacking and yeah, we're gonna add or only the twist to it. Cool. Uh, let's get to it. So um, first of all, let me get rid of of uh, the finished finished product and start from the beginning. Cool. Done. So uh, I'm not gonna start from the very beginning because uh, this game requires a lot of a uh, lot of design. Um, Design and you know playing with playing with the style sheets, so I don't want to bore you. Otherwise, this video would be like two hours long. So I created a starting point, which is literally just the design coded, and hopefully, um, let, let me kill the server first. Run, uh, I was, um, I just up updated my Xcode and. <laughs> One of the negative side effects were that it doesn't come with iPhone iPhone 10 simulator, uh, which is the default for the React Native version uh, I used uh, when I start started coding this project. So uh, I have to uh, 11 Pro. I have to kind of force it to be iPhone 11 Pro. Cool. So this this is our starting point. Uh, it's literally just just the design. Um, you know, we have a level indicator, a timer, a score, a pause button, and the health. Uh, I'm gonna add my own little twist to the classic game, but um, this is where we stand now. Uh, let me just quickly. Um, So uh, let me just show you quickly, um, quickly the assets we have for this game. Uh, so in the images, I have a background. Um, I have a couple of icons like pause, play, restart, score, and time. But the most important thing is the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna uh, use a library called RN uh, spreadsheet, uh, which. I think is the best way to to animate uh, uh, run animations in React Native, and it works on on spreadsheets. So uh, every block in the spreadsheet is exactly the same size, and that's very important. Um, I played a lot a uh, lot with it to uh, make make every every block the same size. I tried to do it by hand, and at the end. I ended up creating a Python script that does it for me because I got super annoyed. Uh, I'm linking a Medium post about this in the description. So if you want to grab my spreadsheet generator script, it's open source and feel free to use it. Uh, but we, um, on the spreadsheet, we have multiple animations. So we have, you know, just the whole and like kind of like an appear animation. We have an idle animation here. Uh, we have uh, a attack animation, you know, the mall gets angry and uh, attacks. We have this bomb, we're not gonna use this. Uh, we're gonna use this one when the mall turns into, uh, I call it the healer. Basically what we're gonna do is when the player uh, wax this kind of mall, instead of reducing the health, it will, it will increase the health. And there is like Dizzy animation and finally like a disappear uh, or faint animation. All right, um, I already installed it, uh, but if you want to install Re React Native, um, sorry, RN spreadsheet, it just um, npm install dash dash save RN sprite spreadsheet, and that's it. All right, so. 
uh, first thing. So we have a pretty clean slate. It's like u- ugly, ugly, ugly style sheet, but uh, ignore that. Um, first thing we need to do is let's create a new file which will be mod.js and it will be a new component more and I don't like two spaces so I'm gonna change it to four space um, cool so we're gonna use this more more component to be uh, to be your base and I want a constructor here props super props and this mod is not uh, I'm gonna need a re- reference to our uh, RN spreadsheet instance so first uh, let's import spreadsheet from RN spread sheet and I'm gonna need a touchable without feedback um, Okay, and let's return the view uh, with st- um, style equals styles dot container. And inside the view, I want a spreadsheet and want the reference to be this dot more equals ref. Um, Uh, source. So I already defined a images file as per usual that has a has a reference to my sprites. So I'm gonna use that. So import images from assets images, and source will be images dot sprite. Um, now. The, uh, as I mentioned, the uh, React Native spreadsheet requires equal sized uh, grid, and we have to tell, tell uh, the engine how many columns and how many rows we have. So here we have two, four, six, and in terms of rows, two, four, six, eight. So we need to pass that in uh, columns equals six, rows equals eight. For width, I'm gonna put hundred. Uh, in the documentation, they say that you all, um, you're supposed to send in width or height, but not not both. So I don't know what's the reason. I haven't checked the source code, but there must be some some important reason. Uh, I guess they're gonna calculate the height based on the aspect ratio of the of the original spreadsheet, and uh, you need to pass in an animations which is an object and you can give names to it so first we're gonna have an idle animation which will be just this first first page. Um, the uh, index um, the way it works the animation uh, the way animations works in RN spreadsheet is each of these uh, elements have an index so it starts with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 etc and you pass in a list list of these to each type of animation and when you call a play on a play on the animation it will literally just play each image in sequence so we have the idle then we have something called appear which will be one two three four and i believe this is kind of uh, kind of the same so i just one two three four uh one two three four uh i'm gonna have a hide which will be four three two one and back to zero uh i'm gonna have a dizzy um, i'm cheating here uh, dizzy animation is this one and on my cheat sheet i have 36 37 and 38 then we have the faint which is uh, these three. So on my cheat sheet it says 42, oh, sorry, 
42, 43, 44, and back to zero. And we have uh, attack uh, which are uh, these, uh, actually these. And that's from 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we have a heal, heal animation, which will be 24, 25, 26, uh, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. This is a long animation. Okay, uh, so that takes care of four spreadsheet, um, essentially. And I want a touchable without feedback, which is on press. So um, I want to overlay a, a touch array. So when the user taps on it, we can we can back the um, the mole. So I'm gonna define an empty back function here. And this will have a style equal. Position absolute top zero bottom zero left zero right zero. I really should use a um, use a style for this, but whatever. Um, and I'm gonna wrap it in an empty view. Essentially, cool. Okay, so we have a mole. Uh, we just need to add it to the app. So here in the empty empty design somewhere there must be a play area. Yep, yeah, cool. So um, we want to put like four rows of moles and three columns. Uh, so I'm gonna do some iterations here. For each more, we're gonna keep track of the reference because later on we, we need to need to um, need to point to those. So array dot apply uh, now array four uh, dot map, which will have an element and a column index. Um, yeah, and. We're gonna return something which will be a view uh, style styles dot uh, play row key equals. Oh, sorry. Row index key equal row index, and here we have uh, same thing essentially, but only three of them and this is called con index yeah and we have a let more index equals row index times three plus call index just to make sure we have a unique Unit index for the mole, and we want to return something here which will be a view with a style equals styles dot play self k equal mole index mole index view, and you have a mole, uh, mole which will have an index uh, prop, which is mole index, uh, a reference ref, um, this moles mole index equals ref. And for now that's about it. Uh, my syntax highlighter is complaining, so probably we screwed something up. Right 
So that's that. That closes that. That closes that. Same here. Return is fine. I'm not exactly sure what's the issue here. Alright, well, first of all, I need to import more. And let's try to build it and see what's the issue. Cool. Um, that's actually not useful at all. And now the syntax highlighter seems to be fine. So <coughs> null is not an object. Um, I probably misspelled. Yeah, it's sprites. Undefined is not. Uh, oh yeah, of course. So here I'm passing in the uh, more reference to uh, this mods, but we don't have it set up. Cool. So we have we have twelve moles. Um, they don't do anything. So let's make them uh, pop. So in order to do that, uh, I'm gonna create a pop method. And okay. So the, um, first of all, I want uh, this dot is popping. Pause. Uh, this variable will be super useful because the mole needs to know if if it's in the process of popping and the outside application needs to know if the mole is uh, in the process of popping so uh, let's keep track of that so when the pop is called then this is popping will be true uh, then also um, what we need to do is do this dot more which uh, refers to the spreadsheet dot play and we have to pass in a type which we uh, want it to be up here fps uh, so the maximum fps um uh, rn spreadsheet can do is 24 and do an on finish uh, which is a callback and on the on finish uh, I want to wait about a second uh, before it, before it disappears. Otherwise, it would be just pop and disappear. So uh, I'm gonna do a this dot action timeout null and do this dot action timeout set timeout, which will be a function. So after one second, we will do this dot more dot play. And type will be uh, height, I think we called it. Yeah, height FPS 24. And on finish, what I want to do is this that is popping equals false. Right? I also want to let the main thread uh, know that this particular more finish popping so this uh, props dot on finish popping will be this props dot index okay um, so back to here <coughs> we're gonna do a on finish popping which will get an index and post it into the more <coughs> Here, so on finish popping equals this on finish popping. Okay. Um, I want a variable which will keep track of how many moles are popping at the same time. Uh, this will be a pretty fast-paced game, and I don't want you know suddenly like all twelve slots taken up. So I'm, I want to limit the number of number of moles popping. So moles popping equals zero and when it finishes uh, this moles popping minus equals one okay and 
So um, now the mole has the ability to pop if I didn't screw it up, which is likely I did. Um, but we have to co control it somehow. So we want uh, basically we want to, want to implement a game game loop, which will be a set interval where uh, where we call the mole uh, a random mole pop. So I'm gonna set an interval to be a null here, and I'm gonna create a setup text. Um, setup text, and here this interval equals set interval. This dot um, this dot pop random was more. And I want to do it as at a certain speed, but um, so in my default state I have a level, and it would be cool I think if at every level the game would become faster and faster. So let speed equals 750. Let's say that's what base interval minus this dot state dot level times 50. Uh, we don't want it to be too quick at certain points. So if speed is less than let's say 350, speed is free, free, 350, right? So that that way we are limited to a maximum speed of 350. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's define pop random more. Pop random more. First of all, if uh, this dot more dot length is not equal to 12. Just return. So it will take a little while until the engine engine uh, renders all, all these, and at that point the length will be uh, the length will be uh, less than twelve. So we don't want to do it uh, do anything until here. Uh, let me set this up. This dot setup takes. Okay. So uh, popping random mole. Um, so uh, I want a random between min and max. And if you are watching my videos, you know I can never, never write this function from the top of my head. But in every episode, I'm trying. So return mat dot random. Uh, no, mat dot floor mat dot random uh, times max minus min I'm, I'm cheating already the, and, okay cool so random more um, what we want to do is let random index equal uh, this dot random between 0 and 11 if uh, not this dot moles random index dot is popping. So if it's not already popping, and uh, this dot moles popping is less than less than three. Uh, this dot moles popping plus equals one. This dot moles random index dot pop right so if it's not not yet popping and we have less than three of them popping on the screen then increase this this variable and pop pop them all cool. this is looking very good perfect okay uh, so let's let's vec those uh, those moles. So I already set up the on press this dot vec. Um, so what we need to do uh, first of all, if it's not popping, uh, then just return. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna also do a, this dot is vect equals false, and when it's popping. I want to reset it. So I don't want to credit the user twice. So and then uh, sorry. Or 
this dot is wagged. So if it's already wagged, don't do anything. If this dot action timeout, uh, then clear timeout this dot action. So if um, if the mole is scheduled to be uh, playing the hide animation, so it's not already hiding, then then clear that because otherwise we we would end up in a in a very weird state. And then this is wagged equals to and this dot mole dot play type. And I want to play the dizzy animation. I'm not gonna set the FPS by default. It's 24. Uh, on finish will be a function and this dot mole dot play um, type the faint animation. So the moment it finished being dizzy, uh, it's gonna faint and on finish. Um, this is popping equals false. So um, reset the is popping and uh, this dot props like call call this make sure make sure we discount it from from uh, from the from the main thread. Okay, let's see how it looks. Hey, we can back those moles if I'm quick enough. Okay, cool. Uh, one thing I want to do, like we kind of want to add some score. So uh, this dot props dot on um, on score. Let's say. And in our mole definition, on score because this dot on score. Cool. Um, and on score is a very simple function. This dot set state uh, score and this dot state dot score plus one. Is it called score? Yes. So in theory, like uh, look at this number. In theory, that yeah, that goes up. Cool. Cool. Um, so we have a timer with default time. I set it. Let me set it to something low so we can test. Let's set up another interval which is timer timer interval plus null, and here this timer interval set interval is the timer tick and for this we want it every second so basically we just gonna count down uh, timer tick equals a function um, which will be uh, basically just counting down uh, counting counting down the time so uh, if this dot state the time if it's already zero the time then we uh, we're gonna display display a th this stage is cleared kind of thing so let's first of all I have to stop both timers so clear timeout uh, this interval interval and this timer interval and this dot set state um, I already have a cleared clear thing here and cleared will be true. This will trigger like a pop-up that I already set up. Otherwise just this dot set state. Uh, oh. Cool, I didn't know that you can do that in autumn. Um, time will be this dot state dot time minus one. Cool. Uh, so that should take care of our timer. So yeah, we are go going down from ten. Uh, you know, and when we hit zero, hey, level is cleared. Okay, uh, these two buttons are not yet not yet set up, but I'm gonna take care of this. Um, I want to do something a bit more 
funny with with the mall so you know like more popping up you're hitting them that's that's fine but not exactly not exactly fun if you are you know over six years old so let's make our mall a bit more interesting so i was thinking about introducing three types of mall there would be a neutral one which is just pops up if you don't hit them that's fine but if you hit them you get a score uh, there is one which which I call Feisty, which will play the attack animation. If you don't hit them in time, then it will reduce your health, health bar. And the, uh, there will be one which is the healer one. Uh, if you hit the healer one, it will inc increase your health. Okay, so how do we do that? Um, so I want to do uh, this, this dot um, is healing false but this dot um, is attacking is false uh, this dot is feisty is false okay um, so uh, let's say um, this dot is attacking is false yeah this one so uh, Let's say we're gonna give like 40% chance to be feisty, to be an attacking kind. Uh, so this dot uh, is feisty equals mod dot random is less than 0.4. Okay. Um, if it's not it's feisty, uh, so in the remaining 60% of the chance, uh, let's give like 5% chance for is healing this dot is healing because um not dot random less than 0 0.05 okay it's not a lot of chance but we want the healing kind of uh, kind of moss to be uh, to be rare okay so uh, we want different animations so if this is healing we want this dot more dot play um uh, type heal we have uh, on finish uh, on finish we want to wait wait again like one uh, one second and uh, basically just uh, play the hide animation okay as what we want to do is play this uh, uphill animation but in the on finish um, in the on finish if this is feisty then um, we're gonna play a different so if it's not feisty we just want to hide you know normal uh, if it's feisty we want to play uh, play the auto animation nice and slowly make it half speed um, so this is attacking is true and when this finishes then we want to play the hide uh, hide animation like straight after it's finishing okay so attack then straight away okay cool so this might actually already works yes see like um this one was attacking okay i don't see any healers uh, so let me just for testing let me increase to be a 50 percent chance Yep, we have a healer there. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. So, when when the uh, when the mole is attacking, props dot on damage. We're gonna call an on damage prop, which we can add here on damage. 
because this on the image. And on the image should be straightforward. Um, so basically we're gonna reuse the head except if it's already if it's going below zero. Uh, so let target head equals this dot state dot head minus uh, actually this dot state dot head minus ten less than zero question mark then zero otherwise this uh, I hate this syntax so much this dot set state state hat uh, target hat um, let target game over uh, this uh, uh, target target hat equal 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 zero question mark true otherwise false and set game over to be target game over yeah uh, actually mm, on to them no I want to because the issue is that I kind of want to um, want to stop the interval if I, if I do game over so uh, what I'm gonna do here is if tar target had target can type is less or equal zero this dot game over and game over will have a, a clear inter while this dot interval and also this dot timer interval and this dot set state game over true okay so this should take care of the damage let's see what's happening from attack and you can see the damage is going down awesome let's see if game over happens no it won't because i haven't hooked up this this kind of things so let me hook up the next le next level next level button uh, which will be the um, this dot most popping equals zero um, this dot set state because uh, level will be this dot state dot level plus one uh, cleared definitely false uh, game over definitely false uh, time will be the default time and once this finished call this setup takes okay so basically this hooks up this this button uh, while we are there let's do the re reset which is very similar but doing this dot set state default state and then this dot setup takes so it just resets everything so that's th that takes care of that button Okay, I'm just gonna let th let them let them fight me. Okay, go to next level. Come on, no one is attacking. Ah, here we go. Okay, game over. Score two. Amazing. So that's there. Uh, now the healing healing part. So in our vec method if uh, so we set set the healing to be is healing so when you back a if this is healing then this pops on heal and 
it will be very similar to on damage on heal plus except we definitely not gonna game over there and target has plus 10 is greater than 100 than 100 otherwise plus 10 cool so in theory um, oh we have to pass it in for them all so on on heal equals this dot on heal okay come on oh i reduce the chance of healing uh, okay let's go back here and increase it to where is it ah more increase it to be 20 percent oh i have to have to let them attack me attack me first okay okay cool it's going back up amazing uh we are kind of there uh, the last remaining things is i have this pause button here uh, i want to do uh, want to hook that up so uh, basically if this dot interval so if we are already taking then clear interval this interval uh, timer interval is this timer interval and this set state post uh, true true and the re resume is um, basically this dot most uh, we have to reset this value every every single time but um, this set state post uh, false and in the callback this dot uh, setup text and i think that's about it so if i hit it yeah it's paused okay um one thing that's not fair is sometimes you hit the pause button and and meanwhile you get hit so let's let's deal with that so if not this dot uh, if actually this dot state dot uh, post or this dot state dot cleared or this dot state dot game over this return so this way we're not gonna hit uh, you know unfairly and should and i think this is it it feels like it's uh it was way too easy but to be fair this was the first time i i wrote wrote this because when i create these videos like first i need to need to make sure i can i can create it so i'm, I'm gonna write it then i'm usually doing a medium post which is linked below so in order to do that i have to go step by step so i'm writing it and again for the video i'm writing it again so it's like three three times the same same thing um it, it's a lot of fun but it's a lot of work so if you like the content and and you want more please uh subscribe to my videos and follow me follow me on medium but anyway um yeah thanks for watching and have a nice one